Hey guys, it's Mary B bringing you the mayhem and we got a little bit of mayhem for you today. So you may have heard the rumor flying around that Michael Keaton is in talks to return as Batman. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's go ahead and scope out this Deadline article here. And of course, Deadline is the source you want. That's the source you want when you've got rumors and stuff floating around there. Deadline is the source that you want to go to because if they're confirming it, it's pretty, pretty likely it's on the up and up. So they're pretty straightforward here, though. This is just just something that's in the talks right now. It hasn't been nailed down just yet. So let's get into this. So, Deadline announces Michael Keaton in early talks to reprise a Batman role for DC Universe, starting with The Flash. Keep that in mind there. Starting with The Flash, not necessarily just some cameo. And of course, you wouldn't want to bring uh, Michael Keaton, uh, the, you know, the Batman, the, the sort of quintessential first, like, wow, this is amazing. This is when we first started to sort of see where it was that comic book movies could go. Uh, you wouldn't want to see that as just like a cameo. Not You don't want just member berries. You want, you want some meat on them bones. So it goes on to say... Uh, so Deadline has confirmed that Michael Keaton, who first played the big screen version of Batman in 1989 for Warner Brothers and its 1992 sequel, Batman Returns, is in early talks to return to the role again. Keaton would play Batman in a Nick Fury-like role, starting with Warner Brothers, The Flash, starring Ezra Miller, and could continue to play the Dark Knight in other upcoming DC movies like Batgirl, blah, whatever. Uh, reportedly, the, Ke uh, the Keaton Batman Batman won't impact the mythology being hammered out by Reeves. Reboot the re uh, reboot the Batman starring Robert Pattinson as the Cape Crusader, and it will pick up his storyline after Batman Returns. I'm good with this. I like this. So Andre uh, Musietti is directing The Flash from a script by Birds of Prey writer Christina Hodson, Barbara Musietti, and Michael Disco are producing. Keaton, who had already been working with director Tim Burton in Beetlejuice in 1988, was selected by the director and late casting director. Director and Warner Brothers casting boss Marion Darty for his eyes. One source tells us that this deal may not happen, but as of right now, there are talks. I am in love with this idea. Okay, so just to kind of put it out there bare bones, I'm not crazy about this potential for the Flash movie, mainly because I have concerns. I have real concerns about introducing the concept of a multiverse into a universe that has not yet properly been set up, okay? And look, I understand there are some people who see this as a hope for, oh, hey, well, if you bring the multiverse into it, then it can kind of sweep away some of the undesirable aspects of this universe. And then you can explain things like why the Joker, uh, the Joker movie exists or whatever. Well, I, I think that there are other explanations for the Joker movie and why it exists. I don't know that this is the proper way to go about it. That all being said, and, and my even my sort of, as much as I, I admit that the Justice League is a guilty pleasure of mine, and I even sort of enjoyed Ezra, Ezra Miller's performance in that movie, I don't know that using Flashpoint, Flashpoint, this sort of kind of iconic, iconic storyline, uh, and skewing it to, to bring all of this in is a good idea. That being said, I will tolerate a mediocre slash not good movie for The Flash if it means that I can get what I really want, which is Michael Keaton, Keaton as Bruce Wayne in Batman Beyond. Holy Toledo, guys, think about this for two seconds. Batman Beyond. So Batman Beyond, uh, it was sort of a, uh, a an animated series that was set years after uh, the uh, Batman the Animated Series, and it has such a devoted fan base, such a devoted fan base, and I would love nothing more than to be able to see something like that pop up here down the line a little bit. And it could be that this movie, the Flash movie, Flashpoint, whatever they're going to call it, uh, could facilitate that. Now, it could actually close that venue off, but just think about it for a second. Remember the epicness that was Kevin Conroy as grizzled old Bruce Wayne? Remember how we were all like, oh my gosh, he does a great job in either, either aspect of this performance, right? Can you imagine a better actor to portray grizzled old Bruce Wayne broken down but mentoring, doing a good job and mentoring a, a nice young Terry McGinnis? I would love that, and Michael Keaton would be perfect for that role. Now, I don't care a rat's patoot about getting him to mentor Batgirl. That's whatever. But if I could get myself a Batman Beyond series, I'm on board for that. So, again, I have questions. I have problems. Ezra Miller and his antics aside, because certainly he's not... He, he misbehaves. The guy misbehaves. And, and we've got some 
questions about whether or not he can act right long enough and sort of the double standard that's in place for him and how he can do whatever the hell he wants to do, but it's not okay and all that SJW politics, all that side. I don't really care about the Flashpoint movie itself, right? Because I don't know that that's a good idea. What I do like is the potential opening up for Batman Beyond. I think that's great. And look, with all of the wonderful news coming out about how AT&T's been listening to fans, putting the Zack Snyder movie out there, getting that pushed forward, this is a great opportunity, guys. Speak up, use your voices. Yes, we would love a Batman Beyond movie. Give us a couple Batman Beyond movies. That would be great. And this is a great way to set it up. So anyway, guys, anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on this matter. Do me a favor, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about Michael Keaton returning as Batman in the Flash movie specifically, or if you have if you have stuff that you'd like to see him do after that. Uh, leave those thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later. Love, love. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And be sure to hit that bell for notifications so you can know when I put out new content. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you around.